to Le Monde. Um, I have noticed that the weeklies, since I got Sir with them as my companion, which I think was last week, maybe the week before, recently, in the last few weeklies, they have been longer. And let me tell you why. Um, I started writing them throughout the week as things happened during my free time in the notes on my tablet. So just that's a heads up. It's going to be a little bit longer, maybe. We'll see. Okay, so I'm just going to dive right into this weekly. Ready? Subject line, France has the smallest roads. The Book of Caroline, Chapter 6. And it came to pass at the end of the fifth month of the reign of Sir Potter, the people were few who frequently would hear the good word of God. And the sirs of the land of Toul did search many villages for those who were prepared by the hand of God. They did go to and fro and from house to house. But the people of the land of Toul still had their hearts and hardened. And though the air did begin to grow in temperature, the people were still cold against the warmth of the light of the gospel. But the sirs of the land of Toul kept their faith and did pray oft and did keep their faith, saying, We have not much success, but we have been called here for a purpose, and the grand design of God cannot be seen while still on earth. We will go and do those things which our God has called us to do, for we know that we can do anything if we do it with faith. And behold, the sirs of the land of Toul did hope in better days to come, and did continue to find those who were prepared for the good word. And it came to pass that the sirs of the land of Toul did speak to a woman whose name was Agnes. And in the commencement of the sixth month of the reign of Sir Potter, Agnes did say that she would read the good book with much sincerity. And thus we see that God's plan is higher than the plan of men. Principles to retain from these and not scriptures. We don't have many progressing investigators and we've been praying to find some. We found Agnes a couple, a couple of weeks ago and we just taught her a couple of hours ago. Hashtag, yes, I taught on a P day. It was worth it though. And she is golden. Before we left, she had downloaded the gospel library, accepted the Book of Mormon and said she would read it very sincerely. Literal miracle, so God exists. Believe it because it's true. I ain't no liar. I'm a witness. I hope you're all ready for the most random email of your lives because this week was the most random and hilarious and spirit guided week thus far. Enjoy if you please. First and probably most importantly, Sir Witham is gluten free so we eat some weird foods, namely rice crackers with hummus on them. And let me tell you what, they're almost quite literally the best things on earth. I challenge you all to try it. Speaking of foods that I love, let me bring you all to France right quick in the realm of cheese. I, personally, detest most of the cheeses in this country. I'm not judging, they just make me want to vomit fairly often. Yesterday we were at a member's house and they asked us if we wanted cheese and I said no. Sir Witham was eating some cheese, she loves French cheese, that little weirdo. <laughs> and she said, wow, this is vraiment delicious. And the member said, that one is from Belgium, so of course I have to try it because it's not from France. And guess flipping what? I actually enjoyed it, all because it was from Belgium. Ah ha 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 ah. French cheese is the literal worst. I ate rabbit for the first time at a member's house too. I feel very conflicted about everything in my life now because I very literally ate a bunny. Help. The other day I was standing in the Metzgar train station talking to my companion and the Luxembourg sirs and I almost twisted my ankle just standing there. And when I told Sir Witham that I was putting that in my email, she said, that's literally every day of your life, so... <laughs> There is a witness of how often I trip. You're welcome. This week we had a couple of beautiful lessons with Greasy and Emelion. Emelion was open, opening up to us about his family and he started crying because he misses them. And I almost started crying because it was so touching. They told us in another lesson about all of the hard things that are happening in Albania right now and it opened a whole new world for me. It helped me understand why they came to France and why they are the people that they are. The things they've seen are crazy. I love them with my whole heart. On Wednesday and Thursday, we had exchanges in Paris. It was amazing. I was in a trio with Sir Newell and Sir Matson, and we had a goal of using music more. So first we got a lot of missionaries together and sang with them on the street, and I held a ukulele for the first time in five months to play for us while we sang. Someone asked us if we were Amish while we were singing. All the while, we were all using our tablets to sing, see the hymns. Lol, French people. <laughs> 
Then, while we were trying to find people, there was this one guy who said, I really love music. Do you have music in your church? And so I sang a hymn for him, and we taught him the next morning. He was amazing, and he recorded us singing another hymn that morning. Ha ha ha. He's going to get baptized one day. And we put a card into an amazing Metro performer's hat, and he flipping called us. He will also get baptized, I'm just pretty sure. And also, during exchanges, I saw three people from the MTC, Sir Erasmus, Elder Sheranian, and Elder Burgoyne. And I saw Elder Longmas Trainer, so I pretty much saw four people from the MTC, so that was glorious. On Saturday, we went out to go to find around Tool, and we were seeing no success, so we decided to pray. We asked God to help us see miracles. Right after that, we talked to so many people who would listen. We saw a member, we prayed with some people, and we saw some less actives that we didn't have the contact info of, so... If you didn't know God already, God exists, and this is his work. Sir Witham's mom sent her a picture of a view of Provo today, and oh my lands, the roads are so flipping huge in America. If only France had that luxury. Speaking of cars, Sir Witham puts the parking brake on all the time, except she always forgets when we're actually on a hill. Lol, 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 Sir Witham is so silly. Speaking of Sir Witham and cars, today was her last day that she could legally drive in France, so hashtag pray for Sir Potter 2K17, because I'm driving every day now. I met a Caroline this week. It was crazy. <laughs> Sir Witham and I have been seeing how our community is this week, and one night we finished praying at the ex at the same exact time, so I guess you could say we have arrived. In our branch council meeting yesterday, everyone was fighting over something that we couldn't really deal with right now because it's too far in advance, but everyone was fighting nonetheless. One of the members was trying to figure everything out on his iPad in the midst of fighting with everyone, and the member of the branch presidency who was present said while everyone was yelling at each other, Gem bien ton iPad. <laughs> and the few that heard it and were fed up with the fighting could not control their laughter. Ha ha ha. Wish you all could have been there. In Relief Society yesterday, everyone was talking about how they didn't like looking in the mirror after they've had kids and things like that, and everyone was all, yeah, yeah, the mirror is the worst. And then Sandy, wheelchair-bound and blind, said, Je m'en fiche des miroirs. Ah ha ha, literally, that was the funniest moment of all time in eternity, and I can't do it justice. On Saturday, I brushed my teeth three times before one o'clock. I need to calm down. I love you all so much. Have the most beautiful week that's ever graced your life. Love, Sir Potter. Uh, so just to tell you what those French things mean, the first one is, I really like your iPad, and the second one is, I don't care about mirrors. So, funny, right? Um, I have a couple things I want to talk about today. Um, one, I still love hummus. I had never had it before, and I still love it. There's some in my fridge. I don't really eat the rice crackers anymore because they're not the same here, I don't think. But, uh, maybe I should try them again. Who knows, maybe I'll love it. Um, also I ate bunny. That still makes me feel super weird. <laughs> um, I held a ukulele for the first time in five months, and it was one of the most incredible moments I had. <laughs> I mean, kind of. It was a really good moment. You all know that I love playing the ukulele and singing, and being able to hold a ukulele for the first time in that long was incredible I'm not gonna get into it too much <laughs> um still don't love the french cheeses i will I'll, I'll get there we'll talk more about it it's a very important topic for me in my mission um but the thing that i wanted to talk about the most and i don't know if i wrote about it before if i'm gonna write about it in the future, but I did kind of talk about it in this email and I wanted to talk about it a little bit more. Um, we prayed for miracles that week and being with Sir Witham was the time in my life that I still think back to um, when I gained a testimony of miracles and gratitude. Um, and I don't know if I've already talked about this again, but I feel like I haven't touched on it enough. So. Um, this week, I think it was this week, and it might have been a later week, so sorry if I read about it again later. Um, Sir so with them, every single time we would see a miracle, no matter how small it was, she would pull me to the side 
and we would say a prayer thanking God for that miracle. And without fail, every single time we said a prayer of gratitude, we saw another miracle like a minute later. And it was this cycle where we would pray, thank God for a miracle, and we would see another one. And I remember one day in particular, I don't know if it was this week or not, it seriously was like that. Just like miracle upon miracle upon miracle upon miracle upon miracle that we kept seeing after we were saying these prayers of gratitude. And I just have such a strong testimony of thanking God for all of the blessings in your life, no matter how small. We would see someone, we would talk to someone on the road who wouldn't be interested and they would go on their way, but they were really nice. So we would stop and we would pray and thank God for her kindness. And then we would see something else incredible. And it didn't always amount to them getting baptized. It didn't usually ever do that. But thanking God and then seeing more wonderful things was such a testimony builder for me that God truly is there and that he is listening to our prayers and wants to help us one see the miracles that he is providing for us no matter how small and to help us with those miracles he wants to give them to us and help us be miracles in other people's lives too and I don't know if I am saying this exactly the way that I want to, <laughs> but I hope that you guys are understanding. <laughs> I, I, I truly just have such a strong testimony of gratitude and of God's hand in our lives and in the tender mercies that he gives to us. And I am so grateful for that. And I'm thankful for Sir Witham for showing me how important that is. Um, for no other reason, that's why she was my companion. Um, <laughs> I'm so grateful. This was such a great time during my mission because this is the time where we did that the most because she's, she, she did it all the time. And I'm so, 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 so grateful for this time and for all the hysterical and wonderful times that we had especially those times where we were seeing miracles nonstop. That's all I have to say today. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Hit that bell if you want notifications for when I post a new video. I love you. God loves you. Never forget it. Have the most beautiful day, and I will see you on Wednesday. Okay, bye!